of cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, it's um, it's a very unique environment. Um, you know, uh, there's something just uh, I don't know. Like I said, kind of uh, without sounding sappy and sophomore, there's mm-hmm. something I don't know. Just just very homey about uh, minor league sports that, that that you can just enjoy for yep. the sake of enjoyment. Absolutely. I'm excited. By the <laughs> way, a week from uh, this Thursday, a week from tomorrow as we record this uh, is when uh, Gwinnett Braves season gets started. Real quick, uh, I just wrote these down so i got to mention it. Some keys for the Atlanta Braves. Jair Jurgens needs to be healthy. He needs to pitch well. He's going to be the number four starter, but uh, he can pitch a lot better than that. Chipper Jones needs to stay healthy and needs to hit well. Don't laugh. Don't laugh about that. Not, that could end up being huge. Not, uh, and Nate McLeod needs to bounce back in a really big way. And and I'm going to tell you one thing that could really come up for Atlanta uh, this entire season is in defense. They need to play good defense. They did not play all that great of defense in the spring. Uh, we'll we'll see. But that's that they, can really you know you can pitch, you can hit well, you can do all that stuff. But if you give up a bunch of errors in a game, you're going to lose. You're going to die. Well, and they weren't the best defensive team last year. No, so. they weren't. Um, yeah, that all sounds good. I I, I would. You know the thing about McLeod. I mean, if he were to bounce back, I, I I don't know that you would say that it was you know miraculous or anything like that because right. he's obviously shown he can do it in the you know before. But uh, um, you know this was a guy that last year people were just like Ooh, he, he may be done. You know. Yeah, and he was kind of when he went to Gwinnett, he kind of looked lost there as well. Yeah. I mean, it, baseball is so much a mental game. It's unbelievable. And I really didn't know that until covering Gwinnett Braves, how much mental it is. But, I mean, if you make it to AAA in the major leagues, you have, you obviously have the talent, but it's it's all up here what, what can really matter. And, and I, I don't know if Nate was in a really good place last year and he kind of just got knocked off that. But uh, I, I'm hoping that he is back and does well. And, uh, by the way, I've done two of my three fantasy drafts. If you're doing fantasy baseball, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one name, all right? Late in the draft – you can get Josh Beckett because nobody's thinking about Josh Beckett. He was hurt all last year, had a horrible season. Pick him up in the late rounds. I think he might be something. Nothing. Oh, no. fantasy. Oh, <laughs> fantasy. I think fantasy baseball, I've always said this, I think fantasy sports in general, uh, people wouldn't think it's quite as dorky if it had a different name. It can't be fantasy sports. Yeah, that just sounds kind of Dungeons it does, and Dragons. It, it does sound awful. I mean, I, I'll admit that I played some fantasy football this year. There you year, go. Actually, Led my league the entire year without even really caring, but uh, whatever you did care. I the, the, every day. the draft party was fun. I will say that. All right, Georgia football talk for folks that want to talk not fantasy but real thing. We'll cut that after this on WDU and Sports Talk and WDU and TV. At Riverside Pharmacy, if you have questions, they have answers. If you don't have time, they won't make you wait. If you need special items, Riverside Pharmacy can order them. They want to be your pharmacy, and that's what sets them apart. Service. And just inside Riverside is the Gift Nook, where you'll find more great service in a new line of beautiful wall plaques and great colorful bags. Shop the Gift Nook in Riverside Pharmacy in the old Sherwin-Williams building on Green Street. At the offices of Dr. Norman Peets, DDS on Green Street in Gainesville, patients have all their general dentistry needs explained. Ask about sedation dentistry. Dr. Peets' team of professionals puts you at ease. Dedicated, experienced, professional. He's Gainesville's family dentist. Dr. Norman Peets, 615 Green Street in Gainesville. North Georgia's News Talk, AM 550 and FM 102.9, WDUN. Now, two stations strong, AM 550, FM 102.9, WDUN. All right, final segment of WDUN Sports Talk here on WDUN TV. Hey, one more thing about Gwinnett Braves, and and I'll have this... uh, We'll do this each week. I'll try to highlight the um, the acts that are coming, the uh, on-field uh, post-game kind of shows that are going to be happening. Whiplash the Cowboy Monkey is coming back this year. Wow. Yeah, awesome. oh, that's huge. That's huge. That's awesome. I can't tell you the date right now because, frankly, I don't know it. But, I mean, uh, who doesn't love a monkey riding you know, another animal? <laughs> it's riding a, <laughs> he's riding a dog, and he has a lasso, and they have sheep on the field. Uh, you, can't, you can't miss it. Actually, you can miss it, but... Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I'll tell You'll you. You'll hate yourself is. for that, it. That's right. All right. So tomorrow is Morgan's birthday, March thirty first. Uh, thirty three. And uh, you're gonna be thirty three years old. Yeah. Oh boy. Three's always been a lucky number. So that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. I turned thirty three. That's when I start hurting my back and stuff. So. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I hurt my back at thirty one. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right. So tomorrow, what better way for uh, Morgan to spend his birthday than to go over to Athens, uh, go to um, 
the uh, taco stand probably right out of there on, on Broad Street. Might he might have to hit that. Uh, but no, you're going to to talk to some of the guys uh, because spring football uh, in full swing over in Athens. Some local guys that really. Uh, haven't made the headlines maybe they should have the last couple of years or not should have I should say but um, for whatever reason haven't but these are guys that that they're good storylines over there for for local high school football fans sure absolutely everybody uh, from around here should remember Tavares King Mm -hmm. um, and obviously he's he uh, he has been right on the cusp of having a huge breakout season I mean last year he was really you know, he, he had a couple games where everybody took notice. I mean, he had a big game against Arkansas, had a big game against Florida. I don't know if you remember that early, mm-hmm. that huge touchdown, uh, long catch yeah. uh, that he had against the Gators. Um, you know, he is somebody that, with the uh, graduation, or sorry, not graduation, with the uh, early defection of A.J. Green uh, to the NFL, um, he is going to be the, the guy at receiver. I mean, he's one of the few experienced um you know, older heads out there. He's going to be junior. Um, I really expect big things from Tavares this year. He's he's a kid that's got you know he he's not huge, but he's big enough. I mean, he's six one. Um, you know, depending on I don't know exactly how big he is. They got him listed at one ninety two right now. But uh, anyway, he's uh, he's got the full package. Great hands, yeah. runs good routes. Um, it was great in high school. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, he, I mean. he he left uh, Habersham Central as the state's uh, all time leading receiver. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just uh, it's an opportunity for him to to make a, a big impact this year. I, I think he can. I think he will. Um, and if he if he does, I mean, it's 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 going to be big big things for Georgia. Yeah, I uh, as a Tech fan, you know, it's kind of I'm like hey, whatever with Georgia. But I, I really I, I remember the touchdown catch he had against Florida. And I was like. Good for him, man. Yeah, that, he, that was he, awesome. He's a great kid. He, yeah, he, yeah, he really is. Um, and uh, got a, a big Buford kid that uh, is trying to do some stuff. Yeah, so. uh, Dallas Lee's actually one of two Buford uh, offensive linemen uh, on the team this year. The other one's Colton Houston. Uh, Dallas is a sophomore. Colton's a year behind. Redshirted last year. Um, and Dallas got some playing time last year. He's uh, he's kind of battled some uh, like some illness. I, I I think it was unspecified. Um, you know, who, who knows some sort of asthmatic thing. I think mm-hmm. they had listed. Um, uh, the first couple of days of spring practice, but I, you know, I expect him to 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 be a a pretty uh, a pretty every game type contributor. You know, not a starter yet, but uh, someone who can come in and, and spell the starters and, and start working toward you know his his upper class years where he well he will end up slotting in at guard or possibly center as a starter. So uh, you know, kind of expecting big things from him, and it's gonna be interesting to talk to an offensive lineman because you know. Uh, our, our Georgia's previous offensive line coach, they, he wouldn't let all the offensive linemen talk to the to the media. So yeah, uh, this will be the first chance I've had to talk to Dallas since he went to Georgia. He so. was never the spokesman. He was no, never the one guy a week that you could no, talk to. I think as an underclassman, you could kind of forget that. <laughs> so. Well, uh, that that should be uh, that should be a lot of fun to to be able to go over there and see that because I think there's there's a lot more talk, even coming off a season like Georgia did last year. I think there's a lot of talk that. You know, I think they they probably have a shot in the East this year, wouldn't you say? Certainly, it sets up that way. Um, you know, it's hard to it's hard to imagine that a team that you know played as as poorly as Georgia did early in the season last year could be in the running for an SEC you know at least Eastern uh, crown. But uh, you know, you've got you've got Tennessee still kind of trying to figure figure things out. You've got South Carolina who. You never really know what you're going to get with them with Garcia at quarterback. I mean, you know, who knows? Connor Shaw may end up being the quarterback before yeah. all is said and done there. Uh, you've got a Florida team that's you know clearly in transition uh, with Will Muschamp taking over. Um, you know, Kentucky's okay. Vandy's, you know, Vandy. Um, there's certainly an opportunity. The door's open, definitely. Yeah, there's certainly an opportunity there. I mean, you know, uh, the defense has is, is had a, a year to learn under Todd Grantham. Moving in at 3-4, they've signed a huge nose tackle in Jonathan Jenkins, uh, who should just eat up space and, and allow a lot of other guys to run around and make tackles. Um, there, there's certainly a, 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 an opportunity there. Whether they can take it or not is another question. If, if they don't, you know, obviously the other thing, the other storyline is, you know, the pressure that was starting to, to mount on Coach Rick at the end of last year. Mm-hmm. If, you know, how will how will they respond to that? How will he respond to that? Um, you know, I'm I'm really excited. I think this is going to be, and all Georgia fans should be excited just because, 
you know, this is – I don't want to say make or break, but this is this is the kind of season that, you know, will define your program. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I completely agree with you. It's either a bounce-back year or Georgia. Uh, there's going to be a lot more fans talking about Mark Rick. We'll have fun in Athens tomorrow, man. Absolutely, we'll do. Yes. Our thanks to Scott McIntyre, producing uh, back behind the uh, – there he is. Yes, Yay. yes. He does have a face, people. He just doesn't <laughs> turn around. Uh, check us out on YouTube, youtube.com. Just put in WDU and Sports Talk and you watch – all our little episodes. Um, happy birthday to you. Appreciate it, sir. And we'll talk to you next week. WDU and Sports Talk on WDU and TV. See ya.